G. Johnson here, and today I thought I'd take you on one of my walks. Every day I try to get out, especially on nice days, and it's been sunny here in the springs. We're going to walk through the Broadmoor area of Colorado Springs. It's just beautiful. I'm going to share some of that with you, and we're going to try to take you to a secret location with a pretty awesome view. That's our destination. I'll explain more as we move forward. And more than just bring you along for the ride, I want to share with you some of the things that I have been struggling with lately. And it has to do with having an overwhelming amount of things you feel you should be doing. You ever get that where you feel you should be doing things, but you're not making time for them and it's, it, it eats at you. I have been thinking about this. I've come to a solution. I'm starting to feel wonderful about it. I'm going to share how I've addressed these issues myself, what they are, and how I came to this resolution. So that's our uh, task for the day. That's what's on the agenda. Let's get going. Let's check out the Broadmoor. Come along. Brian G. Johnson. Let's go for a hike. Everybody's out and about. Looks like someone's getting ready for something. Remodeling, rebuilding. We're gonna head to the park. Let's get going. Beautiful morning. Beautiful morning. Hey! Hi. So here we are, we're in the Broadmoor area, and one of the things that makes this area in Colorado Springs really unique is they planted a tremendous amount of non-indigenous trees in the areas like maples and, and whatnot, and as you drive through Broadmoor, especially when you're near the Broadmoor, you see all these huge trees. In fact, the, where we just came from, there was a bunch of huge maples and oak trees planted. It's pretty beautiful. There are also a lot of uh, horses in the area and you can see the picket fences here and their Cheyenne Mountain off in the distance. You know one of the things that I've been struggling with lately is how to take on new things and that's especially true right now because I'm feeling it. I, The last 10 months I have focused on writing this book and every day I wrote three hours or so five six days a week and I was able to move forward and get it done and now I'm writing a lot of sales material and sales copy and I'm organizing a membership site that I intend to launch soon and it's my primary focus. It's the thing I have to focus on. And at the same time, uh, when I was up and attended a, an event with Kevin Knebel, he talked about really reaching out and, and connecting with people on a one-on-one -on -one level. More than just, you know, liking a post or, or being on social media, but really doing uh, above and beyond, sending a postcard, meeting with someone for coffee, taking the time, and it just makes so much sense. It's like, uh, you know, the Win Friends Influence People book by Carnegie that was written, you know, dozens and dozens of years ago. This is something I'm going to do. This is something I've already financially invested in, but right now I'm just finding the, uh, it tough to move forward. And I think it's because one of the laws that I've written for myself is, is I will always focus on that which is right in front of me and most important. And I've already invested tens of thousands of dollars in my book, Trust Funnel. Just doing something like that um, on the level I'm doing, you know, it was very expensive. Hiring professional editor, editors, expensive. Working with Morgan James, not cheap, but well worth the, the investment. So I'm going to give myself a break. And one of the things you might have heard me talk about in the past is every year having a few things that I concentrate on. The last year, I <laughs> I jumped in and I started concentrating on Trust Funnel in September and October. So I didn't even think much about it because I knew I had a big to do on my on my schedule. And this year, I've I've already identified and butterfly, come here, butterfly, magical, life's magical. Uh, I've just I've assigned myself two things I'm going to focus on in 20. 
15. One is speaking. I'm going to speak locally wherever I can. I'm going to get out. I'm going to do it. I'm mentioning it now so it's out there. I'm not just thinking about it in my brain cranium. I'm putting it out there for the world. It's going to hold me more accountable. So I'm going to do that. And another thing I'm going to do is exactly what I said, is I'm going to connect with people on a more personal basis. And chances are I'll begin that as soon as I kind of clear the deck and get the most important thing that's in front of me right now, which is my training program kind of further along, right? It's up and running. I've got people involved um, and I'm, I'm training. At that point, I'll have the time to make that part of my day and I'm going to do exactly that. So give yourself the opportunity to think through what's most important. And if there's something you want to do, by all means, jump on, take, take the initiative. And if you can spend money, do it because it's going to be more important to you and it's going to hold you more accountable. So don't be afraid of investing your money. In fact, I'll tell you to go ahead and invest even more of your money when you really feel it's important that you move forward with something. Uh, and that's what I've done, right? So I've spent some money on something I'm going to do. Uh, and I'm giving myself a break right now because, you know, I am being very productive every single day. I'm probably spending three to four hours on uh, creation of content, connecting with people on social media, creating videos for my marketing, sending out, e I'm doing lots of stuff and I know I'm gonna add these in as soon as I clear off a bit of space and I give my brain the opportunity to think and focus on what matters. And right now, that's my coaching program. Life is so beautiful and magical filled with pixie dust everywhere you go sound kind of weird and creepy perhaps but you should join me it's wonderful looks like the gates open let's have a peek looks too beautiful to pass up look at this fun here Beautiful morning, beautiful morning. Let's rock on. We got places to go and things to do, people. Let's get it together. We're going to end off the video here. I'm going to create another video because I feel like it. If you thought this was helpful, if you like the perspective I've shared, Hit the like button below, send me some love. Leave me your comments, because we're in this together. Pixie dust, magic time. I'm Brian G. Johnson, and peace.